Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com the fourth week of March 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actor and comedian Chabelo died March 25, 2023, in Mexico City. He died of abdominal complications at the age of 88. Born Javier Lopez Rodriguez, a native of Chicago, he was a celebrity in Mexico who starred on the TV show En Familia con Chabelo for 48 years. He is being remembered for his childlike TV persona and for entertaining generations of families. Chabelo was a U.S. Army veteran who served in the Korean War. Actress Rebecca Jones died March 22, 2023 after fighting ovarian cancer at the age of 65. She was a star in her native Mexico and well-known for her roles in telenovelas or soap operas. Jones is being remembered for her most recent telenovela, Cabo, which aired just before her death. Musician Wayne Swinney died March 22, 2023, while on tour. He died of a spontaneous brain hemorrhage at the age of 59. He was a founding member and guitarist for the hard rock band Saliva. Swinney is being remembered for his powerful guitar riffs, which drove the band's mix of heavy metal with other genres of music. Politician Ben Shelley died March 22, 2023, in New Mexico. He died after a long illness at the age of 75. He was the president of the Navajo Nation from 2011 to 2015. Shelley is being remembered as an advocate for infrastructure projects and public health. Radio DJ Jeffrey J.V. Vandergrift died at the age of 55 after being reported missing on February 23, 2023. He hosted radio shows including The Dog House and The J.V. Show. Vandergrift is being remembered for speaking about the effects of Lyme disease, which he suffered from. TV host Marisol Malaret died March 19, 2023, at a hospital in San Juan, Puerto Rico. She died of complications from a pulmonary condition at the age of 73. She was crowned Miss Universe in 1970 and was the first woman from Puerto Rico or any Caribbean island to win the title. Malaret is being remembered for transforming her pageant fame into a career as a TV host and entrepreneur. Tech giant Gordon Moore died March 24, 2023 in Waimea, Hawaii at the age of 94. He co-founded Intel and served as the computer company's CEO for several years. Moore is being remembered for Moore's Law, in which he correctly predicted that the complexity of computer chips would double every two years. Drag queen Walter Cole, better known as Darcel 15, died March 23, 2023 in Portland, Oregon. He died of natural causes at the age of 92. In 2016, Guinness World Records certified him as the world's oldest drag performer. His nightclub, Darcel 15 Showplace, is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. He is being remembered as a Portland icon who helped the homeless and people living with HIV-AIDS and created a welcoming nightlife destination for generations of people. Cole was a U.S. Army veteran who served during the Korean War. TV host Connie Martinson died March 9, 2023, in Beverly Hills, California. She died of natural causes at the age of 90. Her TV show, Connie Martinson Talks Books, ran for more than 35 years and highlighted stories from all genres. Martinson is being remembered for interviewing thousands of authors, including Maya Angelou, Ray Bradbury, and the young Barack Obama more than a decade before his presidency.
Inventor Morris Tannenbaum died February 26, 2023, in New Providence, New Jersey, at the age of 94. His death was not widely reported at the time. While working for Bell Labs, he developed the first silicon transistor, a technology used in most of today's electronic devices. Tannenbaum is being remembered for helping usher in the digital age. Musician Tom Ledden died March 22, 2023, at the age of 70. He was a co-founder of Tom Petty's first band, Mud Crutch, in the 1970s. Ledden is also being remembered as a member of Silver, who recorded the hit Wham Bang, and for playing bass in Linda Ronstadt's band. Activist and author Randall Robinson died March 24, 2023, at a hospital in St. Kitts. He died of aspiration pneumonia at the age of 81. He co-founded TransAfrica and campaigned for U.S. economic sanctions on South Africa in the 1980s. This was a major factor in the end of apartheid. He is also being remembered for his work on behalf of Haitian refugees and his advocacy for reparations for Black Americans. Robinson was a U.S. Army veteran. Comedian and TV host Paul O'Grady died March 28, 2023, at the age of 67. He was a star of British TV who hosted shows including The Paul O'Grady Show and Blankety Blank. O'Grady is being remembered for his trailblazing drag queen persona, Lily Savage. Songwriter Keith Reed died March 23, 2023, at a hospital in London. He died of colon cancer at the age of 76. He was a founding member of the band Procol Harum, though his role was unusual. Reed didn't play an instrument or sing, but he wrote the lyrics to almost all of their songs for decades. Reed is being remembered for his song lyrics, including the enduring classic, A Whiter Shade of Pale. Animator Leo D. Sullivan died March 25, 2023, at a hospital in Los Angeles. He died of heart failure at the age of 83. He animated the iconic intro to the TV show Soul Train, as well as working on classic cartoons including Fat Albert, Super Friends, and Animaniacs. Sullivan is being remembered for co-founding AfroKids, bringing educational and cultural animation to black children and families. Author Julie Ann Peters died March 21, 2023, at her home in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. She died after a long illness at the age of 71. She wrote award-winning books for teens, including Luna, one of the first young adult books featuring a transgender main character. Peters is being remembered for helping young readers understand difficult topics, including domestic abuse, sexual identity, and suicide. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory, online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. On Monday, March 27, 2023, three children and three adults were killed in a shooting at the Covenant School in Nashville, Tennessee. Their names are Evelyn Dickhouse, Mike Hill, William Kinney, Catherine Kuntz, Cynthia Peak, Haley Scruggs. Nine people died on Wednesday, March 29, 2023, when two U.S. Army Black Hawk helicopters crashed during training exercises near Kentucky's Fort Campbell. As of this recording, the names of the deceased have not yet been released to the public. Seven people died on Friday, March 24, 2023, in an explosion at the R.M. Palmer Candy Company in West Reading, Pennsylvania. Their names are Michael Breedy, Diana Cedeno, Domingo Cruz, Susan Halvonic, Judith Lopez Moran, Zorky Nunez, Amy Sando. 
At least 22 people died in Mississippi and Alabama on Friday, March 24, 2023, as a powerful tornado affected the area. As of this recording, not all the names of the deceased have been released to the public. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags across the United States, as well as state flags in Tennessee, have been lowered to honor the memory of the victims of the tragic shooting at the Covenant Presbyterian School. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of the victims of the explosion that took place on Friday, March 24th at the R.M. Palmer Company in West Reading. Flags in Mississippi have been lowered to honor the memory of 21 Mississippians who tragically lost their lives due to the devastating tornadoes. Flags on the Navajo Nation have been lowered to honor the memory of Ben Shelley, former president and council delegate of the Navajo Nation. Flags in West Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of State Delegate William P. Bill Stafford. Flags in Oklahoma have been lowered to honor the memory of Oklahoma County Sheriff's Deputy Jeremy David McCain. Flags in New Jersey have been lowered to honor the memory of former Senator Ron Rice. Flags in Alaska have been lowered in remembrance of the Great Alaska Good Friday Earthquake. Flags in Maryland have been lowered to honor the memory of Maryland Highway construction workers Rolando Ruiz, Carlos Orlando Villatoro Escobar, Jose Armando Escobar, Malin Simmons II, Malin Simmons III, and Sybil Lee DiMaggio, who lost their lives during the tragic accident on Interstate 695. Flags in Iowa have been lowered to honor the memory of fallen U.S. Navy Seaman First Class Donald Stott, who was killed at Pearl Harbor during World War II. His remains were recently identified and will be returned home for burial. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Private First Class William Laverne Sonny Simon, who was reported missing in action during the World War II Battle of the Hortgen Forest in Germany. His remains were recently identified and will be returned home for burial. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Navy Chief Special Warfare Operator Michael T. Ernst and former Representative Melvin Herbert King. Flags in Alabama have been lowered to honor the memory of Officer Garrett Crumbie of the Huntsville Police Department. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Thirty years ago this week, actor Brandon Lee died at the age of 28. The son of actor and martial arts legend Bruce Lee, he is known for his starring performance in the movie The Crow. Seventy years ago this week, athlete Jim Thorpe died at the age of 65. The decathlete was the first Native American to win Olympic gold for the U.S. and also played professional football and baseball. Actress Conchata Farrell was born 80 years ago this week. She died in 2020 at the age of 77. She was best known for her starring role as Berta on the sitcom Two and a Half Men. Actress and singer Pearl Bailey was born 105 years ago this week. She died in 1990 at the age of 72. She won a Tony Award for her performance in Hello, Dolly! and had hits including Two to Tango. Singer and actor Frankie Lane was born 110 years ago this week. He died in 2007 at the age of 93. He was known for popular songs like That's My Desire and Rawhide. There are many more celebrity anniversaries this week, and we pay tribute to them in our new Tuesday video series, Death Anniversaries and Birthdays. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.